the Department of Homeland Security is apparently looking for chatter online, people talking about election fairness. Take a look at this from today. We've got breaking news, brand new reporting just in within the last couple of minutes here on a new warning from the Department of Homeland Security to police departments around the country. NBC News reporting that local law enforcement officers are being told that these false claims of fraud, lies about the 2020 election, basically, are fueling calls for violence online. Those officials expressed concern back to DHS. They're seeing the same thing, which is that on mm. social media and in public forums, there are increasing calls for violence in response to these conspiracy theories about fraud in the 2020 election and about the alleged possible reinstatement of former President Donald Trump. So... Calls for violence online are already illegal. What they're getting at here is the chatter about the election, fairness about the election. That's what they're after, okay? It's already illegal, again, to uh, encourage violence online or talk about what you want to blow up or anything like that. That shouldn't happen. It doesn't happen. Or when it does, you're in trouble. Does that make sense? I hope so. Because right now, what they should be focusing on instead of people having legitimate conversations about the fairness of the election. How about the Taliban? The Taliban is poised to take over Afghanistan. It is going to happen probably a lot quicker than it would have under President Trump. It wouldn't have been this sloppy. It would not have been so unprofessional, our withdrawal from that country. It had to happen. We had to come out, but not like this. Isn't it interesting? Now that Trump is gone, we are back to losing again. We are back to losing again, just like it was under Obama-Biden, now Biden-Harris. It's one of the reasons why I was pulling for Trump when he announced his uh, campaign for president. Our country is in serious trouble. We don't have victories anymore. We used to have victories, but we don't have them. When was the last time anybody saw us beating, let's say, China? in a trade deal, they kill us. I beat China all the time, all the time. I'll tell you, when he said that, it really resonated with me. I know it resonated with you. That's one of the reasons why he won. Right now, it doesn't feel like we're winning. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel, now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.